we are being asked to graph r equals 1 plus 2 cosine of theta. So we're going to start by making our t's and graphing it quadrant by quadrant. So first we're going to plug in 0 for theta. If you get the cosine of 0, which is 1, times 2 is 2, and 2 is 3. We plug in pi over we get cosine of pi over 2, which is 0. 2 times 0 is 0, and 1 plus 0 is 1. So the first point with a theta of 0 and an r of 3 is going to be right there. And then the second point with a theta of pi over 2, which is the positive y-axis, and an r of 1 is going to be right there. And we know equations of the form a plus b cosine theta or a plus b sine theta are limosons. So let's connect this. And, and, and if a and b were equal, if it was 1 plus 1 cosine theta, 1 minus 1 cosine theta, we're going to get a cardioid. But here it's a limoson because the coefficients are unequal. Now, we already know that when theta is pi over 2, we get 1 for r. But if theta is pi, if you plug in pi, the cosine of pi is negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And 1 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 1. Now, a theta of pi is pointing on the negative x-axis. But since r is negative 1, instead of going out on the negative x-axis one unit, we back up one unit and our point lands there. Now, any time you have one row of the table that goes from positive to negative or negative to positive, that tells you that your limoson is going to have an inner loop. So to graph this loop, what we're going to do is we're going to think of um, 1 to negative 1 as being 1 to 0, then we are at 0. And then finally, we go from 0 to negative 1. Now, remember, when r is 0, it means that you're at the pole. So to go from 1 to 0, all the numbers between 1 and 0 are positive numbers. Your thetas, pi over 2 to pi, are in quadrant 2. Quadrant 2 thetas with positive r's means the points land in quadrant 2 and continue until they hit the pole. When r is 0, we are at the pole. And then to go from 0 to negative 1, we still have second quadrant thetas, but now since r is negative, they land in the opposite quadrant, which is quadrant 4. So these points, the green points, the red point, and the blue points, are the points we get from pi over 2 to pi. Now, we already know that when theta is pi, we get negative 1. If we plug in 3 pi over 2 for our theta, the cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0, and 1 plus 0 is 1. So again, what's happening here is we're going from a negative to a positive. So we think of it like this. Instead of going straight from negative 1 to 1, go from negative 1 to 0. Then when you're at 0, you'll be going through the pole. And then you're going to go from 0 to positive 1. So let's graph that green piece first. Between pi and 3 pi over 2, you're in quadrant 3. The r's between negative 1 and 0 are all negative. Third quadrant thetas with negative r's show up in quadrant 1. Until you hit 0 when you go through the pole a second time, and now from 0 to 1 you have positive r's and third quadrant thetas, so those points are going to come out in quadrant 3. 
And then finally, we know 3 pi over 2 gives an r of 1. If we plug in 2 pi for theta, cosine of 2 pi is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3. So our graph now comes back to the starting point. And this is what the graph of r equals 1 plus 2 cosine of theta looks like.